look how steep it is. Look. Stuck. You're stuck? Do you hear that? I just heard something, bro. I made it. Look at these trails, bro. That's not a human footprint. Look at that. What? That's a little hoof. Today, we're gonna be attempting to spend the night in an igloo. And if you guys did not know, this is the season finale of our overnight marathon series where we've been spending the night in a new place every single week since Halloween. Today, 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 we're gonna be attempting to spend the night. We're gonna be attempting to spend the night. We're gonna be attempting to spend the night in a movie theater, in a water park, in an elevator, in an underground bowling alley. In Death Valley, the hottest place in the entire world. And we just wanna take this moment to thank you guys, not only for the support on this series, but the support that you've shown us over the years. It truly means the world, and we love you guys from the bottom of our hearts. As you can see, we are in the middle of nowhere. And the time right now is currently 1.15 p.m. And the temperature is 20 degrees Fahrenheit, AKA 12 degrees below freezing. And for all of our international viewers, negative six degrees Celsius. It's only gonna get colder and colder as the day goes on, because the sun is gonna get lower and lower until nighttime hits. And then boys, it's gonna get way below freezing. And the only thing that the boys brought with us is right here in this blue bag, in our camera supplies. That's it, nothing else a couple of bottles of water, and some equipment to build this igloo. Yes, you heard us right. We're gonna be building this igloo from scratch. And we're from Florida. Keep in mind, never built an igloo in our lives. Only seen snow three times ever. And we're gonna attempt to try and build an igloo that we're gonna live in. First things first, we gotta figure out where we're building this igloo. We got a couple of different options that we could go with. We got this mountain right here, which is really close to us. And we got this one, which is a little bit further away, but it's in the sun. And there's also a couple of different low grounds that we were scouting out earlier. It just depends what we wanna go with. Let's keep going. What are we thinking? I don't know, bro. Let's pick soon so we can start building before the sun goes down. Somewhere on that side is the way. Near the sun, right? Definitely in the sun. Because it is already so cold. The only challenge with going over there is how are we going over there? It's not easy to just cross to the other side. Because look at this down here. I think it's a riverbed, I'm not really sure. It's covered with trees, snow, and look how steep it is, look. Oh, that's like straight down. And that snow down there is probably feet deep. You could get trapped in that. We got to find a point of entry somewhere along this where we can try to walk our way down and squeeze through. Because we have to bring all of this stuff too. I think we just gotta keep walking. It's almost perfect. It's like it was meant to be. It looks like a path has already been made, if I'm being honest. And we're scouting this area up over here. All of it is so steep, not ideal for an igloo. You want it to be flat. So we took a look over this side. You okay? It's a little slippery in the snow, huh? A little bit, bud. Why don't we play the clip of you trying to do the intro when you failed, huh? Today, we're gonna be attempting to spend the night in... This guy had one job! Come on now. Right over yonder, in between the trees, on top of that little ledge right there, you can see an opening. You see it, you see it? I see it. Right there. That's far. Let's keep moving. Careful, bro. It's very slippery. 
Duck. You're stuck? Stuck on this tree. Do you hear that? I just heard something, bro. Are you serious? Like a bobcat? I don't know. Could easily be possible. Look at these trails, bro. That's not a human footprint. Look at that. What? That's a little hoof. Could be a moose. Could be a deer. A fat deer. Look at this print, guys. That ain't no footprint. I'm out of breath, bro. I'm not even sure if the steepness of this mountain is coming across on camera, but this thing is steep. Where are we going now? All the way to the top. Oh, we're gonna go off. Huh? I have no idea. We're going for it, we're going for it. You got it? Dude, it's all loose rocks, no. Is it really? Yes, look at this. These are all loose rocks. That's gonna cause an avalanche. Not good. What about in between that little crevice? Through here? Yeah. We started all the way down there. Get up here and pour with me or something. Yo, I made it. I made it up. Look how steep that was. That's pretty steep. Look at the view from up here. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Yo, perfect spot right here. Let's call it our name. This is perfect. Yes! Yes! Check the time. It is currently 2.16. It took us over an hour just to get up here. And now this is where the real work begins of constructing an actual igloo for the first time in our lives. And not just an igloo that looks nice, but an igloo that is going to be able to be lived in for the night. Step number one to building an igloo, clear the land and get a nice foundation. To do that, we got the tools inside of here. A snow shovel. We're gonna clear the perimeter and make a nice solid foundation and show you guys how to do this thing. I can't lie, it's the weirdest feeling ever. It's super cold out here, but I'm sweating at the same time, like I'm hot. I think I might have to take my jacket off, bro. <laughs> I'm taking mine off for sure. So it turns out we don't actually need the tarp, so forget step number two. We're skipping straight to step number three, build. And to do that, we got some more tools. Your boy brought containers. And how it's going to work is we're going to pack this full with snow, boom, place it down, remove, and then theoretically, we should have a perfect ice brick. And then we just repeat that thousands of times until we make a full igloo. At least that's what I thought is going to happen in my mind. But just in case these don't work, your boy. Got the official snow brick maker. Boom. These are made to make igloos. This is what they're made for. That's gonna be you and me later, buddy. Look how happy she is. That's what we're gonna be like. We're gonna be like this. Oh, boys, look at our igloo that we got. Come on, there's no way this doesn't work. Right? Here is our first attempt at an igloo brick. If I'm being honest, we really don't know what we're doing. I watched a two minute video on this and hopefully this works. Just flip it over, give it a little pat like this. Oh, oh, <laughs> don't play with us, brother. Come on, let's go. Bro, what was that? Are you kidding? Dude, I'm sorry, I got a little excited. 
I actually wasn't sure if we were gonna be able to pull this off. But after I just saw that, the only thing holding us back is nothing, cause we're gonna do this, baby! Let's go! Smash the subscribe button and drop a like on this video. And also, cop the merch to support the boys. We out here in the frigid temperatures. Literally did Death Valley, hottest place in the world. Now we're in the coldest. Let's go, boys. We finished the base layer. Not too bad, if you ask me, right? Not bad at all. It is currently 3.30, so we've been working on this for a while. And I thought we were making good progress, but it took a while just to do this. Now we gotta do that again, and again, and again, and again, and again. And also, when we first started, we had two of these containers so we could both simultaneously be making bricks, but, this one broke within the first five minutes of construction. So we're down to one. We got a lot more to do. And as you can see, the sun is actually midway in the sky. I don't think we have too much daylight left, so let's keep moving. decided to take a little break and go sledding. Yeah, 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 baby, come on. Come on, man. Bro, you gotta let me try. Oh, here he comes, here he comes. Here he comes. Yo, all the way, all the way, all the way. But then it was right back to work. The sun has finally set and the temperature is dropping rapidly right now. It's all the way down to 16 degrees and by tonight it's gonna get all the way down to five degrees because we're in the high elevation. We've been doing this pretty much non-stop since we got here. The only break we took was to go sledding and uh, we're on the third level. It takes a lot longer than anticipated. We're gonna be grinding well throughout the night. But one thing I know is we're not giving up. Oh, dodged it! Oh, ow. It's now fully dark outside. Ricky has been grinding on the blocks. We're almost complete with the third level all the way around. And I have been amassing a stockpile of snow so that Ricky can just come in here, scoop up the snow into the container, and make an ice block. And uh, it's going pretty well, but all this filming in between has been slowing us down a lot. So we're gonna put the camera aside and we're just gonna grind for the next couple of hours until this thing is pretty much completed. And then, once it's done, we have some extra goodies in the bag. Time is currently 11.15 p.m. And the boys have actually made some insane progress on this igloo. Take a look at what we got going. This thing is almost as tall as Nick. And if you guys remember in our overnight elevator video, Nick is seven foot tall. So this thing is massive, boys. I'd say it's about, if I'm seven foot tall, this is at least six foot nine inches, I'd say. Oh my. Dude, you're gonna br Bro, be careful, buddy. Don't be fooled. This is just one half of the igloo. If you take a look at the other half, it has completely collapsed and fallen to the ground. We were attempting to connect the igloo and build the roof of it, but when we tried to do that, it fell. And not only did it fall one time, it fell four other times, and four times we rebuilt it, and it fell and fell again. Since it kept on falling, your boy decided to do some igloo research, and what I found is that the best way to do this is actually have some water on hand, so you're actually turning the snow into ice blocks. But up here in the mountains, we don't have access to running water, so, I think this might be as good as we can get. But we're not giving up yet. We're gonna try to rebuild this thing one last time. To the 
official IBP Crips tour. No. Yo, 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 the camera, bro. Cool. But before we even take you guys inside the igloo, we got our wall of defenses on the outside. On the left side, we got our boy, the gnome. Just in case anyone tries us out here, he's guarding us. And just in case he can't guard us, we got our own wall of balls. That's what I'm calling it. An unlimited supply of snowballs. We use these for defense, but also for our own entertainment. As you can see, your boy's got skills. As you can see, your boy's nice with the balls. Let's go! Ow! Come on in, come on in. As you can see, we went with the open concept design, open ceiling, open room. It's a one bedroom, but it acts as all you need. It acts as a bedroom, living room, dining room, bathroom. It's all of them. As you come over to this side, the open concept continues throughout the wall. We have an open window because most igloos, you look at them, they're closed off. We wanted ours to be different, stand out. Never want to fit in with the crowd, pave your own path. So that's what we're doing here. That's why we got this open window. It's definitely not because we couldn't build the igloo high enough. That's not why. We just wanted it to be original. And mainly, we wanted it to overlook our amazing mountain view. Also, our two-car garage. Look at that blue Bentley Bentega sitting right outside. We're, we, we ain't going to flex on you too hard. We don't need to go out there. We, we don't we want to show you guys that, you know? Big baby blue Bentley Bentega on my wish list. Continuing right along, me and NCK each have our very own chair that overlooks the amazing fireplace. We'll get to that in a little bit. But if you take a look up top, we each have our very own stocking. Cause you Really bro? First you knocked down the wall, now you're knocking down stockings? As you can see, we have nothing but the finest of quality here at IBP. Piece of plastic into a very flimsy piece of ice that could fall at any minute. Actually, it did fall. If you take a look up here, that piece fell as we were filming the intro the other time. That's actually why it's so bright outside because it took us hours to decorate this because everything kept falling again. It's literally the morning time already, boys. We're not even gonna get to sleep. But we gotta show you guys the rest of this tour. So moving along downstairs, we got our very own wreath Ooh. because the boys, we gotta stay festive for the holidays. Come on now. Come on. And now Ricky, take it, take it, take it. Cause I gotta show you guys what I think is the very best part of this entire fort. Come down here. Right down here, we have our very own 69 inch flat screen TV and it is playing none other than the Ireland boys overnight marathon. And if you've been tuning in to the overnight series, we seriously thank you so much. All the support on it means the world. The fact that we get to travel to these places, film these videos, and this is what we get to do all thanks to you guys is insane. It's insane. I never thought I'd be here in an igloo. It really means the world to us from the bottom of our hearts. We can't thank you guys enough for not only the support on this series, but the support over our whole YouTube careers. You guys have been there through the highs, the lows, the in-betweens, and shown us support through it all. And the reason why we do this is for God and for you guys, so thank you. And we're gonna keep on making bangers as long as you guys keep on watching and keep on supporting. And also, if you haven't seen the rest of the Overnight Marathon, Click up here and watch it because every single episode is an absolute banger. I'm telling you, you don't want to miss it. Thank you guys so much. And now, yo, it is getting freezing out here. So cold. I think it's actually 11 degrees. Watch for us being from Florida, anything below 70 degrees is frigid. So let me tell you boys, it's tough for the brothers. It's tough for the brothers. I'm losing feeling in my fingertips and my toes. So. We gotta get this started. Just like our ancestors back in the day, we're gonna be making this fire the old fashioned way. With the lighter. Oh. It's having a little trouble. Ooh. But the problem is keeping the fire. Starting is the easy part. Well, I'm taking advantage while we're here, baby. I can feel my fingertips regaining consciousness. This is what IBP merch feels like. You just put your fan in the glove? Did I? Your hand? Did I just put my fan in the glove? Are you okay, buddy? 
No, bro. I haven't slept, and we're out here in the freezing cold? Not okay. It's looking like it's doing pretty good, boys. I'm taking my shoes off, guys. I gotta warm up my toes. The dogs are coming out. Ooh. Your feet. Bro, it's the sock. It's the lint from the sock, bro. Does that feel good? Dude, my foot is its like actually numb. I can't feel past here. Really? I don't feel any of this, no. Man, I should be charging y'all for this. And just like that, the fire is out within minutes. And just like that, the overnight marathon is complete. Thank you to everyone who joined us on this journey and made this possible. We absolutely love you guys. And until next time, yee yee! We did it! They say the yellow snow is the strongest of snows. It's extra good to build with. I can't feel below my knees, brother! Interesting. You're usually on your knees, bud. This is a fun fact I learned the other day. Do you know why they call it an igloo? I don't know. Because I glue my nuts to your forehead.